Hi, welcome back on my channel. In today's video, I will tell you about my uh, autumn favorites. It's December now, like mid-December actually, and it's crazy. I have no idea how it happened that it's already a December, but oh well. So it's time to talk about my autumn. My autumn was quite crazy. I feel like I lived in different dimension, to be honest. Uh, I had no idea about my deadlines or anything. It was just... October was crazy and it was December and I was like, oh shit. I have deadlines and assignments to work on. When are they? <laughs> and earlier in September was also a really crazy month. Um, because of my uh, trip to Paris, I will talk about it later. And then, like literally, I get back home from Paris just for one day, and I had during that one day I had to pack all my things. I got at home and moved back to Aberystwyth, so it was crazy. Uh, yeah, so let's start. I don't have many things, unfortunately. I don't have any films and shows to recommend to you. I don't know how it happened actually because I keep watching stuff but somehow nothing is there's nothing on my mind that I could actually recommend to you. So let's start with fashion. In my summer haul uh, you can watch this film here. I showed you these two uh, things I will show that I'll show you now and I just love them. I can't imagine my life without them now. So the first thing is my black shopper bag. So as you can see just black and big and it's amazing I can't imagine my life without it now like basically every single day when I have any classes I just pack all my stuff to this uh, bag like my laptop my all my notes uh, my planner everything water snacks and I just go and I just love this handbag and I can't imagine my life without it now uh, so if you're thinking of getting a uh, a shopper bag like this one I really recommend you to get one maybe not particular this one uh, this one is from mango I believe uh, but just any and they're so good just literally you can put all your stuff there they are like never full and I just love it so if you're thinking about one you really have to get one it's going to it's a game changer honestly um, the bad thing is like you're just going to put loads of things in that because many things fit in this uh, bag so it's going to be heavy uh, but it's really really good and I have no idea how I lived before that handbag honestly and the second thing uh, is my pair of uh, Vans Old School so if you don't know what a pair of Vans Old School looks like it's just like really basic very popular model of Vans I just love them, they're so comfortable. Like, honestly, recently on the nights out, I wear them instead of my Converse because they're more comfortable. And I just love them. And honestly, I wear them quite often, maybe not now because it's too cold, but earlier I was wearing them. And honestly, you can't even tell I was wearing them so often. So the quality of them is amazing. It costs like 60 pounds, so it's, it might be expensive, but for sneakers like Vans or Converse or New Balance, you have to pay about that amount of money. Uh, so it's not like really expensive actually. Um, so I just love them. And if you're thinking about getting one and you think like, oh god, so many people got them, they got them because they're so comfortable. And actually they suit to many clothes. I was like thinking how they going to like look with my dresses but with some of them, not all of them, but with some of them they look really really good. So I just love them. Beauty. There's one thing I will tell you about and that's a bourgeois uh, foundation. Always fabulous uh, extreme resist 24 hours. It says it's a full covered foundation. I wouldn't call it a full covered foundation. I would say it's like mid coverage, but the way it looks on your face, it's amazing. Like my, when, the first day when I had it on my face, I was like, whoa, okay, it looks really nice. The shade I've got, it's the 110 Light Vanilla. 
it's a perfect shade for me. It's not too too light too too light too dark. It's just perfect. And I like the coverage and the color and the way it looks on my face. It's like quite natural. When I uh, that day when I had it for the first time on my face, my friend was like, what do you have in your face? Is it like any foundation or just some powder? I was like, no, it's just this foundation. And, and she was like, yeah, it looks really good. So if you haven't tried this foundation, try it now. Also, it looks amazing for us. On, I had it once on the night out. Uh, so, you know, on the night out in the clubs, they take for us with like, with our flash. Um, so often you don't look good, but the way my face looked, it was whoa. Okay, I love that foundation. So if you're thinking of getting a new foundation and trying something new, try this one. It, it's actually probably at the moment my favorite foundation. Uh, so yeah, and I'm going to get another bottle. It costs like twelve pounds, I think, maybe a bit more. I'm not sure because I get this bottle in Poland and it was cheaper because it was like half price so I got it really cheap and my sister is getting me a new one, another one uh, because probably there's some offer for that now uh, so I just love this foundation at the moment uh, so you should try it out and now let's talk about music uh, I listen to music all the time so the Spotify uh, released this uh, 2019 wrapped and uh, I was surprised how many hours I spent listening to music but on the other hand I'm actually not surprised because I'm aware I listen to the music almost all the time I hate silence and I just love listening to the music either like a background noise or just like cheer myself up or just like I'm in particular mood for some music so I'm listening to the music almost all the time. Um, so I've got some uh, songs and albums I've been listening to this uh, autumn. And let's start with album. It's Post Malone's album Hollywood Bleeding. It was released in summer, I think. And I'm like, I'm always late with some new music. Like everyone's like, like most of the people are already listening to something and there is me like, huh? What are you talking about? Uh, and it's the same thing with another album by Jonas Brothers. It was released in June, I think, or July. I started to this album recently and I love it. I'm just listening it on the repeat. My favorite fr song from Jonas Brothers' album is Love Her, I think that's the title of the song. Obviously, like most of the songs are really good, so somehow I end up being obsessed with this album. Then I've got a song by Martin Garrix and Dean Lewis. Also, I quite like Dean Lewis. He has quite song, sad songs, but I like him. Uh, and the title of the song is Used to Love. And then I've got a song by Maroon 5 uh, called Memories. Also a really nice song. I've got a discover of this autumn and uh, it's uh, Dermot Kennedy and uh, all like the songs I like the most are Outnumbered and Lost. These two are amazing, I think. Uh, there's one more song I really like. Uh, An Evening uh, I Will Not Forget and also What Have I Done and Powell With Me are really good as well. So that would be it with, about music and then I've got some food and some other stuff. So let's start with food. I don't have any of that with me because uh, it's like Thursday on Saturday I'm going back home so I don't have any food literally uh, but I'll show you, I'll put some pic uh, pictures of that uh, here. So the first snack because recently I feel like I live on snacks is MMMs but this one in blue uh, pack and the crunchy. I love it. My favorite MMMs are this one. I discovered them really accidentally and I was like, oh my god, it's so good. Uh, so that's the first one. The other one is a thing called Goo. So basically it's like a cheesecake. Uh, also a good thing about that is like you've got it in like um, glass jar. 
which is really good. Also, it's like with like aluminium uh, cap on it, and it's packed in two in like in carton box. Uh, so it's like recyclable, so it's really good. It's a plastic. There's no plastic in that. It's quite expensive because in Tesco you could get it for like three pounds, but often I can get it in for two pounds. I'm like, okay, I could get that now. Also, a little uh, something very similar, basically the same thing, but the taste isn't that good. I think okay, maybe it's going to be better than the, the original one, but it's not. It's good. I can't say it's not good, but it's not better than the original one. And sometimes Lille has uh, like food or stuff better than originals, but not in that case. And then I've got a Kit Kat cookies and cream. Again, I was like, I was in Poundland the other day looking for some snacks, and I was like, there's some new like uh, flavors of Kit Kat. There's like orange, dark chocolate, and there is milk and cookies cookies and cream and I was like oh that sounds nice and honestly oh god it's so good you have to try it it's amazing it tastes so good it's like sweet but like cookies and cream oh <gasps> cookies and cream are my favorite to be honest <laughs> two last things and uh, the first one is my trip to Paris as you know or not I always dream to go to Paris and this year I was like, okay, I'll go to Paris. So I booked the tickets and I went there with my mom for her birthday. And I just love Paris. I can't wait to go there again. And I will go there again next year. Um, so I can't wait. It's going to be a really crazy trip to go there. Uh, but you'll find out about that uh, quite soon actually in the first uh, half of the year actually. And I can't wait for that, honestly. Seeing the Eiffel Tower, it was just the best experience of my life, to be honest. Just Paris was, it didn't disappoint me at all. You know, sometimes it is like this, that you saw so many photos of some places, like Paris, London, New York, and then you expect these places to look like on photos, and you go there, and it's not like this. And you're disappointed, but it wasn't like this at all. Paris literally look the looks the same as it looks on the photos. That's amazing. Like all these buildings are amazing. Like all the places there are basically insta friendly and like just pretty. It's amazing. Um, I, I mean, like <laughs> what I also noticed uh, in the Great Britain, uh, people don't have the best sense of style, to be honest. And sometimes I feel like they randomly just pick some clothes from the wardrobe, no matter the weather and the temperature outside. So in summer you can always meet someone wearing winter jacket and like, what? And obviously wearing flip-flops as well. It was so nice to be in some place where people actually have a sense of style. I heard opinions that there was like a myth that Parisian uh, have sense of style. I was like, wow, they look so good. I, I'm glad I had my trench coat because without it I would feel that I have like no sense of style at all. Like I feel like the trench coat is the only coat or like jacket or like something that you wear on your clothes that is appropriate in this place. So it was just amazing also listening to some new language for me. Because in the UK I don't feel like, uh, as I'm from Poland so, and I live here like over two years now, I feel like home here it's not an abroad country for me anymore so going there and listening completely to new language I was like wow I'm abroad finally because when I was in Malta I could hear this I could hear English all the time so it wasn't like experience of being in some new place actually like new country but not new language if you know what I mean and there there's like a bit different culture and language and everything I was like wow this is amazing and I could listening to um, French all the time honestly anything you will say in French is going to sound romantic to be honest like in English everything sounds just good anything you're going to say it sounds good with like proper British accent then we, in uh, French, everything sounds just romantic. If you're thinking about going to France, to Paris, go there. Don't think about that, just go, you're not going to be disappointed at all. It's the best place I've ever been so far. 
and I can't wait to go back there. Also, I feel like I could live there. If I could only speak French, I wouldn't be thinking of like, should I do it or not? I'll just move there. Uh, so maybe one day I will live in France. <laughs> I feel like I could fit in this country, to be honest. And the last thing is pole dance. I know that pole dance doesn't have a good reputation. Mostly when people hear like pole dance, they think about like strippers in like in nightclubs and it's like, um, no, it's not like this. It's a really good sport, to be honest. I just love it. I had a few sessions before, like a few years ago, and I dropped out and I promised myself I will do it again in some point in my life. And I'm doing it now and I just love it. If you follow me on Instagram, sometimes you can um, see some sneak peeks what I'm doing on my sessions. I'm not good at it yet, uh, but I'm really trying hard to work on that. It, it looks easy, but it's not easy at all. To be honest, you need like a lot of strength because you need like hold, some, sometimes you need to hold all your body just using your arms. So my arms are quite weak, to be honest. So if you're thinking about it, thinking about trying it, give it a try, don't think what others are going to say. Uh, I like make a joke that it's my plan B if uh, I won't get any like good job after uni I will uh, become like a stripper but it's just a joke, it's just a joke. So yeah, it's a really nice kind of sport to be honest and like you can really work on your body and you can sometimes you're surprised what you can do with your body uh, so yeah I really like it and like I really enjoy every session I can have uh, so yeah that would be the last thing I want to tell you about let me know about your your autumn favorites what did you really enjoy this autumn if you like this video leave it a thumbs up if you don't subscribe my channel you can do it now and I will see you really soon